Okay, we are back, and today we are going to play around with the fill command in Minecraft in order to auto-fill um, or auto-build uh, structures, and you'll get to see how that will definitely help automate the process or, or help you build large structures that you could use in your projects. In my case, this is a game design and development class, so where kids can, uh, you know, kind of eliminate some of the the block by block building, I think that's a good thing. So we are gonna go here and we're gonna decide um, what we want to do. Now I'm in Minecraft Education Edition. I believe you can use the fill command in just about every edition right now. One of the things I like about the Education Edition is one of the settings I can set is to show coordinates, which is pretty much crucial for this activity, okay? So basically, to put it plain and simple, what we're gonna do is we're gonna define the size of a structure that we want we're going to fill the area with blocks. And while there are other ways to do this, to make it hollow, we're going to make it hollow by filling the inside with air. Because um, like the t-shirt said, uh, what was it? Math is hard, so is life, get over it. We're going to be able to do a little bit of math here. Um, but there, I believe, is a parameter to just make it automatically hollow. So what we're going to do is we're going to decide on our starting point. Okay, and I always jot this down. All of my good Minecraft buddies tell me they have um, scrap pieces of paper all over their desk like I do with coordinates written. So I'm going to say that I want to start here at 87, 66, 61. Now, um, to, to keep with the idea of doing this as math, I'm going to actually not, not go to my next coordinates, but I'm going to think about where I want this structure to be filled. I'm going to want this to be a cube, let's say. And let's say for argument's sake, we will say this will be a 20 by 20 uh, by 20 cube, okay? So if I'm at 87, 66, 61, and actually, I'm going to give you a little trick too. I'm going to change my Y coordinate right off the bat to 65 because I want this structure to be flush with the ground so if I'm standing on 66, I want the floor of this structure to be just below me so I can walk from the ground into this structure without having to add a step, which I could do also. So anyway, so 87, 66, 61, or 87, 65, 61. What do you think I want to, if I'm going to go 20 by 20 by 20, okay, I'm going to basically be going to somewhere around here-ish, but 20 by 20 by 20, but if I want to just do it with math, and I knew I was starting with 87, 65, 61, what could I change the x coordinate to? Now, the x is, let's say, the left and right or, or um, east and west. What do I want to say, change that to from 87 to either what or what, if I want to go 20 blocks from there? 20 blocks from 87, come on. Oh, 107. 107. Okay, if I want to go 20 blocks high from my 65, now granted, I could go 20 below, and then it would be an interesting thing because this would be a whole underground building, which, hmm, maybe. But if I don't want to do that in this case and I want to go up, what would be from my 65, what would be 20 up from 65? 85. 85, so I'm writing this down. And what would be my 20, if I change the Z, 20 either forward or back from 61? 81, let's say, okay? Real simple. So the fill command looks like this, slash fill. I'm starting with, like I said, 87, 65, 61. And I'm going to 107, 85, 81. And now see all the options for blocks or items I could fill this area with? What do we want to fill it with? Nah, well, we could do TNT. That's a popular favorite. And then, of course, we get to blow it up at the end. What's that? Oak planks. Do you want me to just do oak planks? Oak. Oh, those are oak stairs. Um, planks. You want me to just do it with planks? We could do that. Okay. Now, what's going to happen when I press enter here? 9,261 blocks filled. It doesn't look like it at the moment, but if you remember, that's where I was starting. Now, remember what I said about it being flush? It should be flush either from, yeah, see how it's flush here that I technically could walk right into my solid building? Well, now I want to fill the inside of this with air, 
okay? Air is kind of the absence of block in this case, right? So I could just simply go back to this, right? Now think about this for a minute. What I want is, and I'm showing you a visual here, take a look, take a look. I'm at 87 going to 107, right? Now I wanna come in one on both sides. So what would my X change from if I'm going from 87 in one and from 107 in one, so I keep my walls intact, but fill everything in here with air. What would I change 87 and 107 to? 88 and, right. I could do it this way, or I could write it down and then do it. What am I gonna change my 65 and 85 to? 66, 84, and trust me, there will be times you'll go off by one. What do you think will happen if you go the wrong way by one? What's that? It'll, you'll lose a wall, right? The wall will become air. And then what about my 61 and 81? And what? 80. Now we just did some math, kind of. Um, and what do I want to fill it with? Air. Ready? Can somebody say abracadabra? Oh, wait. It does say 6,859 blocks filled. Let's take a look. Up, oh, see? All right, so it's funny. I started up here. So my entrance up here did what I wanted with it being flush, right? But down there, if I enter from there, I do need a stair. It's like a walkout basement, right? So we can accommodate that, I think. Okay, so if we go in here, we need our little stairs. If we go out here, we walk flush, okay? Now maybe I want to add a door, okay? And I always like to add torches. Whoops. And let's see, we could almost like paint them around. Now, granted, I could now do so many things with this building where I could uh, decorate the inside. I could make it more ornate from the outside. But at least I have the structure built for a building. If you're creating an arena, wouldn't it be great to just kind of set it up first and then kind of fix it up a little bit? So that's how the fill command works in certainly in Minecraft Education Edition. And like I said, I think it does work in all the other um, I don't know about Pocket Edition. It works in Java. It works should probably work in Windows 10, but you can always check. And um, there you have it. So I'm going to stop the recording there. Uh, stay tuned to see some cool creations maybe that these kids do now with the fill command. And see you next time.